Hey guys, it's your girl Karen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen, and I am so excited to welcome my Cancers back to my channel. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may not resonate with all Cancers, but if this reading does resonate, take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate at all, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, the roles in my readings may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate with you, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when another video will be uploaded. Okay, my Cancers, this is going to be your love reading uh, for the first half of September 2020. So, September 1st to September 15th of this month. Oh, I'm sorry, of next month. And we're going to look into your past, your present, and the immediate future. Also get some overall energy, get some love messages, and close out with some advice. All right, spirits, what do you have in store for my cancers? What are the messages that they need to hear? Spirit, what are the messages my cancer need to hear for the first half of September 2020 in love? So we have the Five of Cups in the recent past. So someone here was brokenhearted or is grieving of a loss. We also have the Empress here. The Empress is all about, you know, abundance, you know, um, nurturing situations, you know, being confident, growth, sensuality, security. It could also mean pregnancy as well. We have the King of Cups here. So someone needs to release some type of emotion you know, when the King of Cups is here, this is talking about someone, you know, wearing their heart on their sleeves possibly as well. You know, this is could relate to uh, water energy, which is your energy. So this could be you needing to express yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, the King of Cups is someone who is an empath, you know, someone who is understanding, you know, someone who can, you know, tolerate a lot of things. You know, but also a very emotional being on a whole. So someone here is needing to express themselves. And we're going to clarify further as to why. We have the four swords in the present. So someone has taken some time for self-love. We have the emperor here also in the present. So someone here is seeking balance or seeking control or order back into a situation. This also represents a father-like figure. So there could be some kind of correlation here between the Empress and the Emperor because we have both on the board here. So this could be a soulmate, kindred spirit type of connection, which is very deep. And they're right across from each other. So we have the Empress here and then we have the Emperor. So this is letting me know something very deep rooted happened here in this connection between these two. You know, I, I feel like in this connection, there was, there's children involved. You know, I feel like this situation is, you know, um, there's children. There's definitely children involved in this situation. We have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is all about good news, communications, letters, texts, emails. Someone wanting to communicate maybe, you know. Let's dig deeper. The immediate future, we have the Ten of Wands. So someone could be moving away from the situation or moving back towards a situation. But overall, someone here is feeling was feeling burdened or is feeling burdened or will be feel um will feel burdened in the future and needing to release something or not wanting to let go of something. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? So this could be, you know, a third party situation because right across the board, we have the Empress, the Emperor, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be someone, you know, we have two very, very um, strong minded women on the board. Very nurturing women too. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but from my standpoint, we have the Empress, the Emperor, and then the Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor is in the middle between these two women. So something could have transpired here in this situation. 
Hmm, interesting. Yep, we have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is all about someone feeling hurt, heartbroken, feeling abandoned, feeling like they had to withdraw themselves from the situation. Let's go ahead and look at the overall energy. We have strength. Yeah, because I could see there someone is deeply hurt here. Someone's very, uh, very much so in their emotions. So far, what we have on the board, we have water energy. So we have your um, own energy cancer. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You know, we do have the um, air energy here as well. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have um, Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, so we do have um, multiple signs here on the board. We do have the Page of Wands on the board as well. So Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could have these um, signs in your chart as well. Uh, but something is happening here with this connection. At the bottom, we have the world. So something is letting me know that something needs to happen in this connection or something has happened where it's either left you unfulfilled or fulfilled in this situation. We're going to go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify these messages. This is a very deep um, situation so, uh, so far. Like I said, you know, we have the Empress, the Emperor, and then the Queen of Pentacles. With the Emperor being in the middle. Someone here is, is between two women or having to make a decision. Or vice versa. This could be someone here is between two men having to make a decision. Someone needs to restore balance back. But let's dig in deeper, okay? Clarify the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Clarify the Five of Cups for my... Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, so we have the Two of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So clarifying the, um, the Five of Cups. So I feel like... There has been, communication has cut off. Someone took a break. We have the five, for the five of cups, we have the two of, two of wands, the page of wands, and the four of swords. But right across from that is the four of swords. So someone here took a break from the situation. Someone here made the decision to walk away. And because they made this decision to walk away, this has ceased communication between um these two parties with the page of um wands here page of wands is all about good news communications letters texts you know a situation you know, new situations i'm feeling like you know someone here wants to express themselves but can't you know someone here was deeply deeply hurt with this connection Maybe someone had a child outside of this relationship. You know? Let's clarify the Empress. Oh, I wanted to let you know too. We had the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck when I asked to clarify the Five of Cups. So it's letting me know some kind of truth came out. And this brought on a very, very hefty decision for someone. And that person chose to take a break or to walk away. They couldn't handle all the emotions that came with what they found out, what truth was brought to the surface. Let's clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress here? Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress for my Cancers. Clarify the Empress. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles to clarify the Empress. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. I feel like in this situation, the the Empress represents you. You know, um, the Nine of Pentacles is all about, um, you know, someone being self-sufficient, someone being independent, someone who's nurturing, someone who has it together, you know, someone who is very, very beautiful, very gorgeous, just glows differently than others. You know, this person can hold their own. This person's also very supportive and very, very nurturing. Hmm. You know, but I'm seeing here, you know, with the Nine of Swords here, this could let me know this is you but or your person, but take the roses, it applies. But someone here is deeply 
hurt. Someone here is deeply rooted um, with pain. Let's clarify further. Why is the King of Cups here? Let's clarify the King of Cups, please. Clarify the King of Cups, please. Clarify the King of Cups. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we got the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? Clarifying the King, King of Cups. Someone here is closed off and someone here is unable to express themselves. When I see the king of um, the eight of wands in reverse, you know, it's letting me know that there has been problems, you know, there's been frustrations here, you know, someone here is frustrated, someone feels as though they can't communicate how they're feeling. Someone here is unable to express themselves or really, really wants to express themselves, but can't, you know, we have the wheel here at the bottom of the deck and I feel like this situation is bringing you guys through some type of cycle some um some transitions is happening here the wheel is all about change so i feel like this situ something changed within this situation that brought up brought about this delay in communication or this person walking walking away or this person feeling heartbroken you know I'm highly sensing here. I don't know why I had to say this, but I feel like it's a third party situation. Just the way the cards were laid. I feel like that's the message I'm supposed to give you guys. You know, um, I'm, I'm definitely feeling like, you know, for some of you, not all of you, you know, there's a child involved here. Clarify the four swords. Why is the four swords here? Thank you so much. We have the knight of swords. Okay. So with the Knight of Swords here clarifying, and then we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like with the Knight of Swords here, someone is wanting to return. You know, someone is wanting to return, but someone here has like a player-like kind of energy. The, the Knight of Swords is um, all about fast-moving energy, but it's also an energy that's very lusty. It's an energy that when they, they come in and out of situations. So when there's an excitement here, they're they're charging in that direction. When there's excitement over there, they leave that situation and on to the next. You know, it's 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 a very selfish type of energy. You know, I feel like, you know, this is spirit letting me know that this person you're dealing with is very self selfish. You know, but they may be wanting to come back in to let you know that they've changed. But I also feel like you're taking time from your, for yourself from this individual. And because you're doing that, it's bringing about changes in your own life. You're, you're discovering new things about yourself and also you're discovering new things about this connection. Let's clarify the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so... At, to clarify the emperor, we have the nine of uh, swords. So this could be your person that's torn. I feel like this person put you through, put you in this situation. This person wants to be with you. The emperor and the empress is on the board. Okay, this person sees you in this light. They see you. They see you as a beautiful, the beautiful queen that you are. They see you as the empress, but I feel like they stepped out of that out of this situation and connected with someone you know you or or maybe you could be pregnant at this time dealing with this this type of deceit you know but your person is the one that is having difficulties um keeping it together yeah i'm, I'm really getting that here your person's having they're wanting to come in and talk that's why the page of wands is here this person wants to come in and express themselves to you. They want to regain communication with you. Clarify the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Clarify the page of wands. Yeah, if this person's up at night, this person is thinking about you all the time. Yep, didn't I just say it? This person wants to come in and communicate with you and look what pops out over the page of wands. The six of cups. Because this person wants to come in and reconcile with you. 
you know but i think this person hurt you very very deeply you know the page of wands is all about letters text calls emails an offer being made you know this person wants to come in and offer you this cup again they want to reconcile the cups family is all about emotions expressing yourself they want to express this to you hence why at the bottom of the deck came out the four of wands they they are they are reminiscent on this happy family you know the pr reason why someone comes back to reconcile is because they 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 are living in the past they can't get what has transpired in the past out of their minds they have to get you back because they like they they went through their own karma in life and now they need to come back to a situation that made them realize they were actually happy you know, we got the four of wands here. I want to read you guys this card. I normally don't do this, but this is standing out to me. And I normally pull a card from this deck every um, every day since I've gotten this new deck. It's called the Sacred Vision Oracle Cards. But this is beautiful and this is in relation to your reading. This is called Giveaway. Okay, out of this deck. This deck is so beautiful, by the way. Look at this card at the back. It says, you break it, you bought it. For every action you take, there is a reaction, a cost. A cost that must be measured with balance and a replacement. Where your world is concerned, the action must measure the fragility of the item and realization that there is only one unique and irreplaceable. When we are young, we, we often go to the big pawn shops in the sky and we trade something priceless for what we think we want. Years later, it's common to go back when we're desperately in need of what we gave away to see if we can get it back. But it was sold long ago and forever. We lose family, talents, loves, and ideals in this great exchange. We don't think about how selling out eventually breaks us into pieces. On the other hand, if what you sold could be redeemed, if what you sold could be redeemed, who would be the redeemer? If the cost is a broke is a broken you, is the redemption a restored you? Is it possible that you have have been whole all along but lack the loving eyes to see it? So what this is letting you know is that sometimes our eyes are too long. And what that means is we have everything we need right in our front of us. But sometimes our eyes put us in our eyes put us in situations and our minds too put us in situations where we don't belong. So we end up giving that situation where we were truly happy in away. And then we trade that in for something else. But then when time goes on, we realize what we gave away was actually priceless. And that's what I'm feeling here for you guys. I didn't mean to break the reading, but Spirit told me I needed to read that to you guys. Because I'm sensing that's exactly what is transpiring here. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Wands for the immediate future. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have the chariot, but we have the chariot in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the six of swords. So with the chariot in reverse, this is someone who is high and eagle or, you know, someone who is lacking direction, you know, or feel like they're losing control, you know, and it came out over the ten of wands. So someone feels like they're losing control of the situation. Someone feels like they're losing out on an opportunity. But at the same token, someone is not willing to let go. Someone is hanging on for dear life when it comes to this connection. You know, is you see this person is regretful. This person is realizing that, oh my God, this could be over. You know, but they don't want that. So their head is down in... in embarrassment grief mourning let's clarify the queen of pentacles why is the queen of pentacles here clarify the queen of pentacles please clarify the queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles for my cancers oh, 
clip. There we go. Yep, so we have the four of pentacles and at the bottom we have the ten of wands. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like this person is the third party in this situation. The four of pentacles is all about someone protecting their energy. Okay? And I feel like these two people found out about each other. You know, this person is very independent, very, um, you know, it's it, a, it a boss in their own right. You know, this person is also a well-off individual. But I'm seeing here that this is representing two situations here. I'm seeing that this is the third party that is very, um, how do you say it? Very protective, very guarded of their energy. You see, this person doesn't even want to be bothered because they realize that they are they are the second or the third wheel in the situation. So now they're being protective of their energy and, you know, of this situation. This situation may have even come to an end between this person and your person because your person realized what they've done. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands again. We have the Ten of Wands right here. And then we have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the situation became a burden. You know, the situation was burdening. Look at that. We have the four of cups. We have the ten of wands, the four of cups, and then the emperor. The emperor, again, this was a burden for this person. This other person became a burden. And because of that, they were started to refuse that situation. Let's go ahead and clarify the five of pentacles. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. Why is the five of pentacles here? Clarify the five of pentacles for my cancers. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Thank you so much. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. So the Five of Pentacles is all about someone withdrawing from a situation. You know, and then the Ace of Wands is all about, you know, new romance. It, all, it could also even mean a new opportunity. You know, someone's wanting a new beginning here. You know, but I feel like because you're in this space... You or this person, you know, take yourself in the role as it applies. But because this person's in this space, they it's almost like they can't believe that this situation has transpired. They can't believe that this was this happened. So, you know, the Ace of Wands is all about communication. Someone wants to come in and make you an offer. And they want to come in and tell you they're sorry. They want to bring stability back to the situation. Hence why at the bottom of the deck, we end with the emperor. The bottom of the deck, we end with the emperor. They want to come back and they want to tell you that they're sorry. They want to bring control back to the situation. This person could also be very controlling. You know, this person is, you know, for the emperor to be on the board twice, this person, or to show up twice, this person could def, um, definitely have um, fire in their chart, you know, so you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this person is very um, controlling and, and seeks order. This could be, the for some, the father of your child. You know, because I am in the beginning of the reading, I'm sensing there's a child involved here. So for some of you, this could be your baby's father or your baby's mother. Uh, but there's a child involved here. Or for some of you, there's a situation where, you know, this other person is now, you know, having a child that they stepped out of the situation with. You know, but I am seeing that the situation, um, there was definitely a third party brought in here. You can't make this stuff up. You have the emperor. Um, I'm sorry, the empress, the emperor, who is sorry and the and, and seeking some type of forgiveness here because they can't sleep at night. And then we have the queen of pentacles. And I feel like why the four of pentacles is here over the queen of pentacles is because this person is guarded. But not only that, I feel like the emperor is also guard, guarding themselves or protect um, moving away from that situation. Let's clarify the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Didn't I say that? Look what we have at the bottom of the deck. I'm sorry, um, that flew out of the deck. The seven of cups. Clarifying the strength card. Because someone here had options. 
someone here had options. And because this, this person brought this deception into this connection, someone here was confused. But now the same person who was confused and brought, brought this, the options into this situation or this third party into the situation, they now need strength. And I feel like this is causing you as well to need strength in this situation. Because you're taking time away for yourself. You know, and I feel like this wasn't an easy decision, but I feel like, you know, this person was confused and, you know, didn't realize what they had until it was gone. And now they want to come back. They want to come back. They want to talk to you. They want to make it right if they haven't come back already. But I feel like someone here blocked someone. There's blocked communication here. That's why we have the eight of wands in reverse. Someone here is like, nope, don't want to talk, don't want to hear what you have to say. You know, you hurt me to the core. And you know, you know our connection. You know our bond. You know what we share together. You know? You know, this was deep. This this even hurt me. And I'm not even in the situation. <laughs> you know, it's this is this is mind blowing. But let's go ahead and um, get some love messages here. So what's the messages here for my cancers? What's the messages here? Thank you so much. One more. One more message, please, for my cancers. Thank you so much. We, it says, start reclaiming who you truly are. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this wasn't an easy situation to be a part of. And I feel like, you know, with the five of cups here and the four of swords here, you're, you've taken time. We have the four of swords here twice. You know, you've taken time away for yourself to, to start reclaiming back, you know, yourself, you know, who you are. You know, I feel like this connection was so pure or rare that you lost yourself in it because it was a great place to be. But then this person did what they did. I feel like for some of you, you know, you're currently pregnant and this person made this decision while you were pregnant. You know, this happened, transpired during that time. You know, I feel like this person does love you, but they've just made a very terrible mistake. You know, I feel like this person you're dealing with, the person who did the deceiving, is also a very attractive person. You know, that's why we have the Knight of Swords here. Then we have the hottest love. Has the coldest end. Ooh. The hottest love has the coldest end. And that's what I'm seeing here. We ended the reading with the five of pentacles. This is a very cold. Someone leaves you out, left you out in the cold. You know, or you left this person out in the cold. The hottest love. Spirit is preaching today. All right. If you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe because this is this is serious stuff. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarify with some um, messages from the Romance Angels. Thank you so much. Clarify. Thank you so much. One more. Thank you so much. All right. So we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your um, religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this could be letting you know, um, you know, whatever transpired probably had to transpire for a reason. You know, sometimes commitments are tested. You know, I feel like in this situation, the divine's at work here, you know, in this connection, you know. Then we have, let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. I feel like for some of you, because this was a very kindred connection, a very deep rooted soulmate connection, I feel like some of you are leaning on support from friends and family. And if you aren't, I feel like this is spirit letting you know, don't be afraid to ask for help to get you through this time. We also have here on the board soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And I think you know that, but I think for some of us too, um, because I've been there, I think for some of us, we feel like because a person is, a, is our soulmate, we have to be with them. You might not be with them in this lifetime, but you'll be with each other in the next. I feel like soulmates always find each other. They always come together. 
So I think this is spirit saying with the religious factors card here, give it to the divine. If it's meant to be, it will come back to you. Okay, let's let's, let's get some um, advice here. What's the advice? What's the advice for my cancers? Ooh, got to get a grip on the cards. Thank you. What's the advice for my cancers? One more. What's the advice for my cancers? What's the advice for my cancers? What's the advice for my cancers? Thank you so much. We actually got two cards, so I'll take them. We normally do two, but I'll do three. Work through your fears is the first card. I feel like someone here is needing to build the strength or the courage to do something or take action, you know. But I also feel like the person who sought solitude in this situation is also going through a moment, a tower moment, you know. So spirit is telling you, um, you know, work through your fears. We have next, what do you need to release? You know, this card could mean um, multiple things. But one thing that stands out to me is in relationships, sometimes we bring things like addictions, um, control factors, you know, someone who has um, uh, maybe, you know, secrets, cheating, whatever it is that you brought to the table that wasn't for the benefit of the connection. Spirit's telling you, what is it that you need to release? Because every relationship, it takes two. OK, so every no one's perfect. Everyone has flaws. Everyone has baggage. So I feel like spirit is saying here, even though this person may have brought deception to the table, I feel like there's also some things that you need to release. You know, maybe you need or it could also mean spirits telling you you need to release this situation altogether. Release it and it will come back to you. Because they're letting you know here, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and a spiritual path. Maybe this is bringing you more to a spiritual pl a path, hence why you're watching this um, reading. It says a personal issue reaches resolution. Didn't I say that? Because someone, this person's coming back. They want to talk. They want to reconcile. So they're coming in because you left them out in the cold. The hottest love has the coldest ending. You know, because this was a very passionate connection. But I feel like this person just put you in a, you know, a bad situation, you know. All right, my cancers. Like I said, if this reading resonated with you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell when I will be up. So you can be notified when I'll be uploading a new another video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.